What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today I am going to be talking about Manchester United playing their last game that they went and played over the weekend against Burnley. So up until this point when you guys see this video, Alexis Sanchez has signed for Manchester United. So as you can see, I am starting this video and I'm doing this video while I'm standing up today just because um, I just wanted a bit of a change. So yeah, cracking on in today's video. Um, we made one change from from the last game that we played against Stoke City. Talk about the starting eleven. Now I'm going to leave the One Football app in the link to the description, so you guys can go and follow your best teams around the world. And um, yeah, so getting into it. So we started with De Gea, Valencia, Jones, Smalling, L Young, Lingard, Matic, Pogba, Mata, Lukaku, and Martial. So that one change that we made was Ashley Young. Um, coming into the into the squad for Luke Shaw after Luke Shaw the last uh, that Luke Shaw has played the last seven games out of the eight games that he's played. Um, so my overall reaction, um, I have to say that probably in the first half United were pr probably started the game slowly. Um, we were probably probably didn't have too many chances at goal. Uh, Burnley had more chances at um, goal uh, at goal. But I don't think United didn't start the game quick qu quickly enough. Uh, we were just started a, the game a bit slow. Um, we probably wanted to see how Burnley were playing, um, but we started the game slow. Um, we knew it wasn't the best of starts. Uh, we had one great chance uh, to score near to the end of the half uh, with Ashley Young. Ashley Young did all the hard bit to get past the uh, to get past the defenders, and um, and all he had to do was just put it in the goal. Um, near to the end of the half so I felt like the first half was started a little bit slow getting into the game uh, we probably didn't see much happening in the midfield you know like getting the balls out wide to um, Martial and um, Mata to you know get more crosses into the box let something happen we had some great chances where we got really close at goal but we couldn't manage to put our chances away um, so obviously Burnley are a very good squad. We knew that coming into this game, it was going to be a tough game. We knew um, it wasn't going to be easy. You guys might be thinking, Brett, it was going to be an easy game. Well, um, yes, they are lower than us in the Premier League. We should be beating teams like Burnley. But think about it, guys. Burnley are a very good squad uh, in the Premier League. They went us. They went and drew against us at Old Trafford, which is just down the road from this, from where I live. Um, so, yeah, a great fight that we put back. Uh, that we did uh, to bring it back to 2-2. Two, two. Um, so we knew that this game was going to be a very tough and a, a tough test for us. So we knew we had to switch on, get our game plan going, and we need to get on it straight away. We couldn't do that in the first half, but Burnley w were the better side in the in the first half. They had a few chances at goal. De Gea had to pull up some really great saves, for sure he did. Um, then getting into it... Uh, um, second half we came out I felt like Mourinho probably had a really go at the players second half I didn't actually get to see um, but I still watched match of the day um, but match of the day it showed all the highlights um, I felt like United were a complete different side in that second half Mourinho would have had a real go at the players um, at half time you know like we needed to get more uh, tempo going you know we need quicker movement um, and we need to do something in the next half. Um, we performed well in the second half. Uh, we needed to get a couple of goals. We did that. A cracking goal from Martial. Um, so it's good that Martial's back on the score sheet and it's good to see that. Um, Martial is a very good, great player and um, we just got to keep going, keep our momentum going. We got the three points. Lovely jobly. Moving on into the, getting in more into the video. So, like I was saying, United didn't have many chances at goal. Um, we um, we knew that that this going going into this game, it was probably going to be sort of like both sided, where Burnley have some chances, United have some chances, but mainly in that first half, Burnley showed more. You know, they were they were more on it in the first half than United. United, I don't know if they were switched off or we just started that game pretty slowly. Um, it's down to the players really. Um, really, and um, yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough test, though. Uh, Burnley had more chances than us. Um, 
I felt like something wasn't right, you know, like something wasn't clicking in the in that midfield, you know, to get the balls out wide, get the crosses in from Mata and um, Martial and also our left back and our right back, which is Valencia and Ashley Young. Um, now, talking about Ashley Young and Luke Shaw, now who is better? Now, obviously, uh, everyone loves Luke Shaw. Uh, Luke Shaw's made a great comeback uh, since after being all injured because he's an injury prone. I like Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw drives it down, literally down the wing and get the crosses in. The thing is about Ashley Young, um, he does perform well. He's a player that probably struggles a little bit in left back. He does. He did have a great goal. I can't remember who it was against, but um, it's very hard to pick from um, out of those two out in left back. Um, so I wouldn't say United were dominant, you know. Uh, we... Uh, we I wouldn't say we had most of the possession and I wouldn't say that we, we weren't mainly in control of that first half. Like nothing much happened for us in the in the first half. Um I like the fact how we got close at goal but we just couldn't take our chances. Um and obviously um Burnley were frustrating us in that game for sure. Um and um yeah, like I was saying, that Ashley Young had a really great chance near to the end of the half. He did all the hard work getting past the defenders, but we could not get the ball into the back of the net. They didn't. There wasn't in, enough spin, you know, on the ball. Um, second half, we needed like a plan B. We needed to lift the tempo. Uh, we needed to change up our tactics as well. We needed to get more crosses in from Valencia and Young. Um, because they're on wingers and th and their job is to you know make something happen and create the chances as well. Uh, Mourinho probably had a real go at the place at the at half time for sure. Like in the team talk, when we came out, we were a complete different side. Um, we we were straight away on it. You know, straight away uh, we were all, all around Burnley. We were probably dominant. Um, we had most of the possession. Like we we only just had a little bit more of the possession of the ball really but I wouldn't say that we were really in control of that game um, uh, but we did put away a brilliant goal by Martial um, first goal Lukaku only just got possession great feet he sees Martial in the open space Martial shoots and it went in the top left corner great finish 1-0 up so I was like lovely job Lee. we're 1-0 up now let's keep going and let's keep going after that Burnley had some really good opportunities to score uh, we sort of let Burnley into the game a little bit. Burnley were sort of all around us. That was the point where United needed to sort of like clear the lines a little bit and um, get the ball out of our half, get the ball into their half. Um, after that, Burnley had some real good opportunities to score. We should, should have there been a, pe a penalty for Burnley. I'm going to leave that in the eye button for you guys to go and vote. Um, I think it was just a, a clear, a clear good challenge. Great tackle. Um, and um, once Burnley were all around us, I felt like Mourinho should have reacted quicker to get our some subs on. We should have probably done our subs a little bit earlier. Um, and um, we brought on Fellaini for Mata. Um, once that changed, because obviously you know that Fellaini's a, a CDM and um, he helps out really the central defence midfield. So he can also drive it forward and he also can sort of sit back in defence as well. So we changed the formation to a 4-3-3. We actually started this game a 4-2-3-1, but we changed it to a 4-3-3 um, probably into the game um, as well. Uh, then, af uh, then after that, again, Burnley had a few great opportunities to score. Uh, we brought on Rashford for Lingard so we could get more attacking on the right wing. Um, uh, so we but we practically had Martial and Rashford on the on the right and the left wing really to help us out and to also get at Burnley and to social show a bit more passion out on the wing and get more crosses in and let's try and get another goal you know to put them uh, to bed as obviously uh, nothing much happened except a few corners uh, now and there we did uh, our last and final change Herrera came on for Martial to waste time. Um, I also, uh, when I was watching Match of the Day, uh, the likes of whoever was um, doing the Match of the Day, the likes of Jermaine Genus, Gary Lineker, and who was on it as well, they were saying like, um, there was, we had two great chances uh, to score from. Like we had players out on the wing. Uh, we had, there was one great chance where Pogba 
we should have passed it either to probably Rashford or Martial. Instead of passing it, he took the shot. He was being a little bit greedy. We did the same thing once again. Lukaku um, had players on the right on the left wing. He should have done the easy option, passed it, and we would have sh and we would have been two or three nil up. So I felt like we should have put probably put Burnley to bed um, if we pick, uh, if we did the right decision instead of being a little bit greedy, taking a shot but where it deflected off their defender and um, it's just a bit controversial for that to happen. But in future games, we need to pick out the right pass and um, now that we've got Alexis Sanchez, we can get more, we've got more pace now um, and he'll pick out the right pass. He's a very good player. I'm expecting a lot from this player. He's on about 500,000 500, a week. He's going to be the most, he's going to be the, the most player who's getting paid in a week, so I'm expecting a, a real good, you know, rest of the rest of the um, season from him. We need something from him now, uh, from from the start of this week on Friday, as we've got a game against Yeovil Town, which I'm going to talk about. And and yeah, we won. We got the three points. All that is matters. We got the three points. But once again, I'm going to repeat this. But Lukaku and Pogba, instead of being greedy, pass the ball pick out the right option, go and score a couple of more goals and put the game to bed. Um, but anyway, we still got we still got a goal and we still got the three points. That's all matters in the table. Looking at the table now, um, after City obviously uh, losing to Liverpool, it didn't really help us out when they played Newcastle. We, we were all going for Newcastle for that game, but it's a bit... It's a shame that um, Newcastle couldn't really come back into that game. Aguero getting another hat-trick, it helps them out. Once again, they got the three points. But we're going to have to make sure and keep tight with City. And hopefully City will start feeling that pressure as well. Um, we got the clean sheet as well, which I'm very happy about. Our next game is yet is Neuville Town in the FA Cup. Uh, they're in League 2. Now, we played Yeovil Town this time. Uh, three years ago, uh, I remember watching this game um, this time three years ago. I'm going to leave a clip right now and look at Herrera's sensational goal. Here's a clip. Board again, Rooney. Right for Fletcher. With deflects. Oh, and it's an opportunist goal by Ander Herrera. The ball got to him, fortunately, but goodness me, he made the most of it. Comes off Gillett and just gives the swing and spin of Ander Herrera a chance to make a real mark on this very tight FA Cup tie. Now what a goal that was from Ander Herrera. That is top class from Ander Herrera. I am expecting something like that from him this weekend. Obviously, Jose Mourinho is going to change up um, a few players obviously rest some players for over the uh, for, for the midweek game that we're going to be playing a game against Tottenham uh, it's going to be a big game against Tottenham for sure but um, our next game is against Yeovil Town so they're in league two this time three years ago we beat them three goals to one if we cut out all of our mistakes that we did against Burnley ha real, have a real go at Yeovil Town they'll be up for this game because it's at, it's at home for Yeovil Town but we need to put Yeovil Town to bed. It's not going to be easy because they are at home. They will test us for sure, but we cannot be underestimating them. We need to get the win. They're in the League 2. We're in the Premiership. We are a better side. We are a better side than Yeovil Town, and we should be putting teams like Yeovil Town to bed. And um, obviously, if we get the lose, it's going to be embarrassing for Manchester United fans as well. So... I'm expecting a top-class game. He's going to be bringing in Alexis Sanchez for that game. And like I said, he's going to be resting some players and he's also going to be playing some players that did not get picked uh, in the last game against Burnley. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Man of the match for me. Um, it's very tough to pick from because um, uh, there were some very good players out there. I'm probably going to have to give it Martial just because of that top class goal that he scored once again. He's got a very, a very good um, scoring ratio at Burnley. So I'm going to have to give it to Martial for the man of the match again. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Please leave a like. Subscribe to, to my channel if you are new. And also, 
Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. See you guys in the next video very much soon. Next week on... No, probably this week, Saturday. And I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace.